Hi, welcome to Fusion Fitness Online. Casey and Jen here. And today we're looking at modification and props, and we're looking at our favorite, right? If you're part of the apprentice <laughs> program or you're getting ready to be part of the apprentice program, we love this Absolutely. overball. There's so much that you can do with it. We travel with one. All the time. Yeah, we have it on the airplane behind our head and then Absolutely. <laughs> in, in the hotel rooms. You know, it's a great thing to have around. And, you know, this is a great prop to have in your studio and to sell in your studio because there's so much homework that you can give clients to do with this guy. So true. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. So today we're going to um, place Casey on her back in a supine position and we're going to put the, the overball under her head. So this is a very squishy, movable ball that um, she's going to start a very just simple rotation of her head, just a nod of the chin down and a nod of the chin up. And she's using that ball as a fulcrum for movement. Right, so the ball moves back as her chin goes down to her chest and it lengthens the whole back of the neck, back of the head. And then the ball moves forward into her body as the chin goes up. And so you wanna cue your clients to become very, very heavy on that overball to imagine that the back of their head, the back of their brain is just melting and cascading over the ball, front, back, side to side. So she gets wider and wider into the ball with each nod of the head. And this is talking to, when, if you keep this nod pretty small, this is talking to occiput C1, C2, and creating and oiling those joints so really um, isolating the movement of that flexion extension in the C1, C2. Beautiful. So now we're gonna talk to C1, C2 in rotation. Now I want, for this one, it's very um, beneficial to use the cue of imagining that you have a carousel pull through the whole center of your body. And as you rotate the head side to side, you're just wrapping yourself around that carousel pull, but you're not falling off the carousel pull. Good, so she's rotating to one side and then staying very heavy and using a nice, deep, expansive, relaxing breath as she comes back to center. Good, and rotating, keeping the back of the shoulders and the back of the pelvis nice and heavy as she rotates from the cervical spine and gently coming back to center. And again, using this squishy ball as a fulcrum for movement. So the ball is opposing the rotation of the head and back to center, heavy, heavy. And last one, wrapping herself around the carousel pole and then getting heavier and heavier into the ball as she comes back to center. Now, there's many more exercises that we can layer onto this and you'll get to see those in the apprentice program, so stay tuned. But this is a great place to start with your clients. It's very relaxing mm -hmm. and can give them a lot of joint mobilization and articulation in those hard to train vertebrae, those mm -hmm. C1, C2. So thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you soon.